सर्वस्य धातारम अचिंत्य रूपम आदित्य वर्णम तमसस परस्तात he is also beyond the ignorance the knowledge uh, tamas is ignorant negative attitude rakshasi pravritti and he is much above that kind of negative attitudes so a person who is perfect kavyam puranam anushasitaram anoho aniyasam sarvasya dhataram achinta roopam aditya varanam tamasaha parastat yaha samanusmaret one who remembers him he would be going to his abode ultimately so for him there is no rebirth one who one who does this prayana kale manasa chalena bhaktya yukto yoga balena chaiva bhuvor madhye pranam avesha samyak satam param purusham upaiti divyam there are two modalities prescribed here one is to do the control of your pranavayu and make it come from the udara to the kantha and then hold it breath it and go through the sushumna nadi and if you are able to do that prana dharana then also you go in the right path and next then you may not be reborn at all all your sins will be uh, destroyed will be burnt but short of that if you remember paramatma in the proper occasion then you will be jnana through jnana or through prana dharana you can make sure that your next birth would be blissful either ultimate bliss or bliss which is enabling you to continue your sadhana an opportunity to continue your sadhana so prayana kale manasa chalena bhaktya yukto yoga balena chaiva bhruor madhye pranam abhishya you must bring the prana the in between the two bros eyebrows samyak satam patam param purusham upaiti divyam so pranayama which is prescribed for us for good health and good st stressless mindset is also useful to make ourselves move to a better life ultimate blissful life or even a better life in the next birth yeah, i have a spawn question yeah please sir in order to reach perfection uh, so that you can remember god at the time of death uh, you yeah. need to excel yourself in whatever yeah. you do that is what right. you said right. so okay and um, i am afraid whether it is uh, amounting to karma yogam I, i may be i am subject to correction mm -hmm. it may be karma yogam and uh, is there an alternative like this see uh, our eyes look at must look at the beauty of the god mm -hmm. our ears must listen to the listen to the glories of the god mm -hmm. and our legs must move towards the temple yes <laughs> yeah absolutely that means let us surrender all our uh, senses organs towards the god mm -hmm. that is another uh, i mean i don't mean uh, doing just this and doing nothing ah, else that is what uh, i want to doing tell nothing you. else <laughs> it is not yeah. treated like that yeah, yeah. namami narayana pada pankajam karomi narayana puja pujanam sada vadami narayana nama nirmalam smarami narayana tattvam abhyayam adharam madhuram <laughs> vadanam madhuram hasitam madhuram yeah. so if you uh, every now and then uh, recall the beauty grandeur of the god well uh, i think he will be in a position to remember god at the time of birth uh, yeah, this is a sort of practice at the time of death uh, uh, yeah mm. uh, this is a sort of practice and of course mm. how to reconcile this our uh, materialistic duties and uh, this way of uh, uh, remembering the god mm -hmm. love towards the god No, I have a small uh, confusion. I want a no, clarification. No, it's a very valid question which bothers the minds of many people. Even those who are claiming to be extremely knowledgeable are not sure as to what should be the approach. But the approach to doing puja is uh, to be at all time does not mean that you don't do anything else. So you should always be grateful to Paramatma. in fact one of the ways of doing puja is through the flowers of emotions there are supposed to be eight types of flowers bhava pushpas they are called ahimsa prathamam pushpam pushpam indriya nigraha sarvabhuta daya pushpam kshama pushpam visheshate 
ध्यान पुष्पम ज्ञान पुष्पम तपः पुष्पम सत्यम चैवाष्टम पुष्पम एम ऑल दैट गेट कवर्ड इन दिस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इमोशन इमोशनल फ्लावर्स व्हिच मींस दैट मेयरली ब्रिंगिंग फ्लावर्स फ्रॉम द मार्केट और इन यूर फ्रॉम यूर गार्डन एंड गिविंग इट टू गॉड इज पूजा सो पूजा हैज टू बी थ्रू आउट एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ यूर लाइफ सो लेटर ऑन हिज सीज यू नो पश्चन श्रृणवन स्पृशन जिग्रन उन्मिशन निमिशन नपी एट ऑल टाइम्स you remember him remember him should be interpreted in my opinion in the proper way that you should express gratefulness to him don't get into haughtiness so if you have to say keep on narayana now some people without any disrespect for them i find always saying narayana govinda even in the mid. but do they say it with a feeling of gratefulness or do they utter it as a matter of Mechanical. the habit Mechanical. mechanically so when it is prescribed that you remember god it is only with a sense of gratitude and this bhava pushpas enable you to do the worship at every stage of life even when you are in the family in the in the office ahimsa prathamam pushpam pushpam indriya nigraha sarva bhuta daya pushpam compassion to all oh. beings kshama pushpam visishyate you should be forgiven forgiving you know pardoning so you are uh, errand junior officer you should pardon him train him make him become a better uh, officer instead of writing a uh, bad memo and cr <laughs> remarks in his cr take a compassionate view of seeing that paramatma exists everywhere so what you are doing to the person is a service to paramatma in him you see because he is his he is ultimately going to become equal to paramatma so kshama um, pushpam visishyate tapah pushpam dhyana pushpam to saptamam so all these are supposed to be pushpas so dhyana pushpa for instance we saw in the sixth canto here can be practiced even while you are in the office so as krishna paramatma said sucau deshe pratisthapya स्थिम आसनम आत्मनहान नात्युत नाति नीचन चैलाज नकुशोत्तर त्रैकाग्र मन कृत्वा यथचित्रिय क्रिय उपवश्यासने युंजा योग आत्म विशुद्ध समं काय शिरोग्रीव धारयन न चलम स्थिर संप्रेक्षनाशिकाग्र स्वं दिशा अनवलोकयन प्रशातात्मा विगत भी ब्रह्मचारीव्रते स्थित मन संयम्यमचि युक्त आसीत मत्पर दिस इज नॉट प्रिस्क्राइब only when you are sitting on the pedestal in your puja room this is something which you can do in every situation of your life that is why i even went to the extent of saying while considering that adhyaya that in every office or in the corporate sector we must have a small corner room as a puja room not exactly puja room prayer room because there everybody people of all religions castes and vintages can go and sit and reflect upon what they are doing uh, uh, with as a dedication to god in the beginning and at the end of the day so there has to be fun it is done and um, in uh, unido when i was working there united nations industrial development organization on the ground floor they have they had got a prayer room and very few people were going once i had the temptation to go in inside sit there for about 10 minutes it was very peaceful extremely rewarding i could think about what i am doing whether it is right or not or something so this kind of uh, self reflection that is why krishna paramatma says at least some part of the day you spend in solitude you go to a terrace sit down go to a garden and have sit down have introspection yes have introspection these again have to be taken as principles dhyana yoga is not to be done only while you are sitting on the puja room but can be done throughout your life and i tell you you are hello the luster on the face of person who practices dhyana yoga would be totally different from the one who is always agitated who is always thinking of doing harm to the others always doing some mischievous things to serve his own personal agenda At that person's face will be quite different from the one who is contented who is always dedicating his job to the others we all we immediately see that person is adorable he is really a genius he is a very uh, divine we always respect him but today we have very few specimens of that divine faces but we have more faces which are mischievous which are having some personal 
uh, scheming, right. scheming in their mind. So, the principles are that you do the dedication to Paramatma, so you have to become self-effacing. This is true particularly of the people at the helm of the affairs. They must be more generous, more providing opportunities to others. You know, I have seen in many research institutions, I am myself a very a long period of teaching and research. I was heading the research organization for 18 years. I was chairman of Indian Council of Social Science Research and I was a um, professor in Bombay University. I have seen many heads of the departments with due respect to those who are good um, that they want if an article is written, they want their name to be as co-author even when they have not done it. So, they do not want to give credit to the juniors who have struggled to write the articles. Of course, sometimes juniors want the benefit of the co-authorship of the senior, but that is only because otherwise he will not he will not get the authorship, he will not get that paper, that paper would be hijacked. So, a person at the helm of the affairs should allow the juniors to prosper by giving them the opportunity. This again is the puja of the Paramatma. So, ahimsa prasamam pushpam, pushpam indriya nigraha, sarva bhuta daya pushpam, chama pushpam isishyate, jnana pushpam, tapas pushpam, dhyana pushpam to saptamam, satyam chayva ashtamam pushpam, which is the rare flower available uh, anywhere nowadays, satyam chayva ashtamam pushpam, you should be truthful, whatever is. In the words of Swami Vivekananda to Sabap, be good, do good, that is the religion, nothing, nothing else, nothing, yeah, yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. else. He made it, it is as simple as that, Swami said, yes, yes, Vivekananda. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And they all, I should say without any hesitation, got inspirations from the preachings of Bhagavad Gita. I do not decry or denounce the uh, greatness and the personality, but all have derived uh, some sort of inspiration from Bhagavad Gita. Prayana kale manasa chalena bhaktya yukto yoga balena chaiva bhuvor madhe prana mave exe samyak satam puram param purusham upaiti divyam yadaksharam veda vido vadanti vishanti adyatayo vita ragaha edichanto brahmacharyam charanti tate padam sangrahena pravakshe. You know, Krishna Paramatma has a tact of conveying the, the principles and the modalities. He first gives a shortcut. He says, you are yoga bhrashta, I have provided for a better life in the next birth. But how? By doing all these things. See, earlier he says, janma karma cha me divyam evam yo veshti tattvataha chaktva deham punar janma naiti ma me surjuna. Everywhere he assures the sadhaka and the bhakta the ultimate goal of reaching him and remaining in a blissful state. But immediately he adds that what more he has to do to reach that status, you see, janma karma cha me divyam, one who understands my janma as pradurbhava, not the janma like the human beings, karma, my karma is sister rakshana and dushta sikshana and if you understand this, I assure you my place. I would always say that I have understood this, but he says in the next slo, very next sloka, vitaraga bhaya krodhaha, manmaya maam upasritaha, bahavo jnana tapasa, puta madbhava magataha. So, I have always seen this very interesting, effective way of telling his viewpoints. First, he says this is a, is a perfect teacher. So, he is a perfect teacher. A professional, a professional, professional. A professional psychology and, expert. And he has the talent to influence uh, the minds of uh, people to that extent, sir. Yes. Um, you see, yes, well, yeah, that's definitely. Sir, certainly. But oh, he, uh, he yes. does things in a logical way. Uh, First, he says you will get yes. it. Yes. But to get at that, you have yes. to do these things. He you know, has you such a great talent. Yeah, yeah. You know, even in the house, if a boy or the girl is truant, not studying well, you may say that you are capable of getting 99 percent marks. You say it that first. Yes. And then later on, you say, to get that, stop looking at TV, stop going on cinemas or outing with, the, but do not get distracted from your main functioning. So, you can first tell him, you are capable of getting 99 percent and go higher in life, but later on gradually tell him that these are all the steps to be pursued. This is the method, again another principle of human relations, human personality development and as a psychology expert, we had one psychology expert in our discussion. She said that this is what the modern psychologists do. I said Krishna is a much more the psych psychiatrist. <laughs> so, you do this thing while you are at the end you try to remember. He says that. 
if you do that i assure you a better place in the next world but if you to do that remember me throughout your life so that is the <laughs> next stage to remember me throughout your life you have to control your sense organs you have to control your mind you have to control your buddhi to do that you must have proper faith in me you must have dhyana yoga you must do. so that is what said you know karma yoga as the bahiranga sadhana dhyana yoga as the antaranga sadhana these dual approaches to your everyday life would enable you to perform your prescribed functions in the so called nivritta karma anusthana framework with dedication to mind so sanyasa does not mean running away from karma sanyasa means karma phalatyaga that means you must give up your obsession about the karma phalas and then yoga means karma yoga doing your karma with bhagavad arpana buddhi dedicating it to bhagavan replace the word bhagavan with mankind replace the word bhagavan with corporate sector replace the word bhagavan with nation replace the word bhagavan with with family but don't replace it by a self individual so only serving the cause of the self is not going to be a robust way of doing things so in this way he brings us to what i may call the spiritual dimension of life so he never says that you should not accumulate wealth you, sh you should not acquire wealth accumulate is the wrong word acquire wealth acquire physical wealth but use it to the extent that is necessary for you the rest you make it available to the society but don't get into the kama krodha lobha moha madha matsara as the distractor of your focus on a robust life so yadakshram veda vido vadanti विशंति यजतयो वीतरागाः यदिच्छन्तो ब्रह्मचर्यं चरन्ति तत्ते पदं संग्रहेण प्रवक्षे देन ही सेज दैट आई विल आल्सो टेल यू द नेचर ऑफ दैट स्टेटस व्हिच यू विल बी रीचिंग आफ्टर यू रिमेंबर मी एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ एंड यू रिमेंबर मी फॉर दैट पर्पस थ्रू आउट द लाइफ एंड टू डू दैट थ्रू आउट द लाइफ you must have control of the sense organs you must do the all are integrated you know it is not you cannot remember him at the time of death if you are not uh, having ajamela for instance remember narayana on the last minute when both vishnu dutas and yamadutas were present trying to drag him away as the story says and he called his son narayana but you know he did not call him just as his son suddenly all his past samskara came forward paschatapa came forward and he was already an extremely knowledgeable rishi he had studied scriptures he had got antakarana shuddhi but due to some karma past karma he got into this you know corrupts of his life and at the time of death he uttered the word narayana with full realization of the meaning of the narayana and also with paschatapa for whatever he has done so for that reason the um, vishnu duta said that he is our property yamadutas had to go away and yamadutas went and reported to yama saying that we went because this fellow had done so many wrong things and uh, vishnu duta said you fools you don't know he uttered the word narayana with full understanding of the meaning of narayana all his knowledge came back so you have no business to touch him to take him to naraka so that is why the process of uttering the word of narayana at the end has to be backed up by some good uh, knowledge based you know it's not just karma and krishna says already sarvam karma akhilam partha jnane parisamapyate only when when jnana is acquired karma becomes fruitful so mere karma yoga will not help you to achieve the moksha or the perfection you have to convert your karma into proper jnana and that jnana helps you in reaching the perfection in our everyday life and ultimately reaching paramatma in the ultimate analysis so jnana is not decried when prakarma is prescribed to us but only we are some are some of us are eligible only go through karma yoga like arjuna and priyavrata maharaja or janaka but some others who have already passed through that stage in their previous births are eligible to go to jnana marga immediately like sanaka sanandana sanat kumaras and narada etc narada also passed through a different births with uh, karma karma yoga implied in it uh, only at the end he became eligible for the total jnana of bhagavan so in this way he would be reaching the abode of paramatma and again here in this adhyaya krishna paramatma out of compassion for us tells us as to how 
who should make our prana or jiva leave this body. So, the entire process of leaving uh, with prana upasamhara, prana movement is described and this again is endorsed very well by the yoga shastra. If you do that and you will be able to take your prana from the sushumna nadi, otherwise it may go from your eyes, from the nose or from some other places and that is not really good for and they say prana should go in a particular path, then only it goes to Paramatma. Anybody may question how, who knows, I have not seen this, what happens, but sometimes you know faith is important, we must have faith in what is being narrated in Shastras. Uh, uh, sir, one question, uh, is it scientifically proved or uh, only spiritual sir? Scientifically, what do you mean by scientifically? Earlier also this question had come, we okay. are sometimes I am told in the western world they put a almost dying person in the closed glass box and they wanted to see how the prana goes and they were looking, looking, looking that somewhere there would be hole and then prana will break that box and go away. Suddenly, they found that the man was dead and prana was not seen at all. So, physical experimentation of the modern science cannot really give us insights into these philosophical, I do not say even spiritual these philosophical domain of describing life and we must have faith that our ancient rishis who are drashtaras, they were able to perceive how things happen out of physical experimentation of many lives, many they were also basing on the basis of what we call in statistics as experimentation. So, the even what is meant by astrology, it is based upon the horoscopes of a large number of people, then deriving if the horoscope combination is like this, these are the results. Then the Jyotish Shastra was written as a result of thousands and thousands of horoscopes analyzed and or the results uh, documented and then fielded. That is, that is how an experimental science, you see. So, the in the same way observational experience has helped them to derive these and deductive logic also. If somebody becomes genius right at the birth, a big singer, we see on the television a five year old, the other day was seeing a blind girl singing so beautifully and, and it was stated that she did not have any training under the musician. She only learned by listening to songs and how that talent comes that is only due to the past birth samskara. So, we will have to have faith in the, uh, the knowledge based or intuition based statements of this kind which are proven by experiments of the, the otherwise. If, if you do not believe in this uh, anupapatti, anatha anupapatti that is called, if you do not believe in this, you will not be ex able to explain. So, in that sense, we will have to have faith in these things. Yatra yogeshwara krishna yatra partho dhanurdharaha tatra srir vijayo bhutihi dhruva nitir matir mama shri krishna arpanamasya.